first television campaign commercial was run by, I believe, the Eisenhower campaign. Which presidential debate is credited for showing television's power in the debate process? And that will be Kennedy versus Nixon. Which method discussed in the video is now the quickest and cheapest way to get <clears throat> the message out of a politician or candidate? And that's probably the internet. Why? Because it's free and you get to control what's said. All right. You may not be able to control the comments, but you can control what is said. And it looks like we got them all right. What kind of poll is usually taken at the beginning of a political campaign? And that would be a benchmark poll. You kind of get an idea of where, how popular a person is before they even get involved in the race. In general, exit polls are used by the media to predict the winners of elections. Having a large sample size will usually result in a lower margin of error. All right. And it looks like we got them all correct. So first, a network of people who rotate jobs between government positions, interest groups, iron triangles. This is the name given to organizations who attempt to affect the political process by informing and influencing members of the government to pass or block laws, interest groups. This is the name given to a person who tries to influence legislation on the behalf of a special interest group. That person's called a lobbyist. This law was passed in 1995 to hold special interest groups and politicians accountable for the amount of money donated by groups to a government official's campaign funds, and that is the Lobbying Disclosure Act. This is the name of a nonprofit special interest group who attempts to uphold the Second Amendment to the Constitution, the National Rifle Association. This is a nonprofit special interest group whose mission is to defend the rights and liberties of individuals in the United States. That is the ACLU. This is a nonprofit special interest group whose mission is to protect the rights, benefits, and services designed for people above the age of 50, the AARP. And this is the name given to the Professional Association of Teachers and Professors who attempt to protect the interest of its members, and that is the National Education Association.